Well, we'll give it a try. This is Hot Mess, the show where terrible cooks attempt everyday recipes. <sighs> I don't know why we do this to these people. <laughs> <laughs> what they don't know, I'm watching their every move. Aha! Aha! Oh! You're kidding! Please. Oh! Holy <laughs> sh! Leanne! Are you okay in here? Hi guys, I'm Chef Mike Brown, and this is Hot Mess. Today, Sierra's coming on the show to try her hand at a tuna poke bowl. Now, she's not too confident in her skills in the kitchen quite yet, because she can't tell the difference between cumin and cinnamon. Let's see how she does. Oh, gosh. What do I cook now? I like to make pesto pasta just in a jar. Noodles, sauce. <laughs> I have set things on fire. In high school, me and my friend were cooking brownies. We put the fudge packet in the microwave, and the fudge packet was tin foil. So the microwave literally sparked, and we thought we were going to burn her mom's house down. If I could take something away, it would be to learn how to cook with vegetables better. She wanted vegetables. She got her wish. There's lots of vegetables in this one. OK. So tuna poke bowl. Little poke bowl. That indicates that I don't think she knows what this is. She's rinsing her rice. One and a half cups of water bring to Well, pour. she's reading her directions and following them so far. While the rice is cooking, marinate your tuna. Combine soy sauce, vinegar, honey, lime juice, and bowl. She looks like she's doing good with this. She even has like nice technique. She's followed recipes before in her past. Freshly grate ginger, two tablespoons. That's not it. Don't know what that is. <laughs> I think this is a peeler. She's trying to spiralize a little piece of ginger. Yeah. Don't know if that's right. <laughs> this one, ah! Found it. There you go. Now she's got it. Getting that flavor of ginger in there is very important for a poke. Looks like she's good on this rice situation. We might end up using it. I'm doing pretty good. It's nice to be able to follow it and see the numbers and everything right there. I've never touched tuna before. I'm kind of nervous about that. <laughs> <laughs> Looked different than I thought. Wow. <laughs> Oops. Rips. <laughs> Sometimes you just might have to get past the idea of what fish might feel like, you know? Because you know it's going to taste good after it's all said and done. OK, not a fan of that. Amame steamed. Following instructions. While tuna is marinating, prep your vegetables. Two cucumbers sliced. Circle cutter. I feel like that would work for this guy. Oh. That cucumber did not want to go through that. <laughs> She's going to make little pickle wedges. Not what the recipe calls for, but that tool did it for her. Carrot spiraled. Spiraled. <gasps> she found it. Or this. No, <sighs> you were so close. Careful. Um, that does not work very well. See if this spirals. There you go. Yeah, there we go. We found Look it. Look at those spirals. Yes. One mango, peeled, pitted, and cubed. How are you supposed to know how to, like, cut a mango? OK, that's juicy and not. Pulverizing it. So we're just going to. Get the heart out of there. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> Yep, no, the pit's too big. That's not for that. It is for that, but the pit actually fits that perfect little eyelet in the very middle. Uh, <laughs> I just don't know how you're supposed to cut a mango nicely. We're gonna get rid of some of this clutter. Thank you. Two avocados peeled, pitted, and scooped. No, oh gosh. <laughs> I mean, it took this out, <laughs> so. Somehow that worked out. Yikes. We'll use a scooper guy. There you go, scooper. Dang, that really scooped nice. It's because it's what it does. All right, radishes. Wedge cut with wedge cutter. Hmm. Nope. Not the wedger. That, I don't think it's the wedger either. How is that not the wedger? Go uh, back. It has to be this one. Wedge. Don't put your finger in there. <laughs> yeah, no. Huh. We're just going to cut some slices. We get a real nice close-up on her finger going onto the cutting board here. 
I'm gonna have to go in there. I feel like she's gonna cut her finger with that knife. So we're gonna be using the George for me. All right, Sierra. I'm gonna put paws on you. Okay. Hi, I'm Mike. <laughs> I've been watching from the back. Oh, gosh. You're not the messiest person we've had. The tools. <laughs> some of you figured out perfectly. Oh, really? And some of them you were way off. Okay. But we're gonna figure out how to use them together and we'll make a bunch of really nice garnish because the whole dish is about garnish. And about so not cutting your pretty. fingers off, which is like a very close situation with those radishes. Yeah, so that was I was close. like, I gotta go in there. She's gonna cut one of her fingers off. We're gonna be okay. able to use this. We're yes, definitely perfect. gonna be able to use your edamame because that one's not too hard. Didn't really do anything. And then we for just that. got into George Foreman grill here, and I saw you go through that process. We're just okay. gonna watch it yeah. and make sure that we don't overcook it. Okay. While that's searing, let's just clear off all this and I'll get a new set of vegetables up here. All right, how does this tuna look? I don't know there you how go. it's supposed to look. Just, we're gonna pull this out right now. Oh, This grill's pretty handy. Basically, turn this thing on, it's hot as heck, and then you can put a no, nice sear on nice. things. I like to toss it in the cooler just to stop the cooking oh, process. Yeah. Okay. What's also kind of cool about this is it's like super easy to clean. You literally just wipe it, and it's like clean as a whistle. So, vegetables. Have you ever heard of the term mise en place before? Nope. Mise en place means things in place. We're gonna try okay. to get all the things in place. Yep. And we're just gonna go one by one. And another thing, so your board's not sliding around too mm -hmm. much, take a couple pieces of paper towel and just wet them and put them right underneath it. Yeah, look How at that. How about that, huh? This is a chef's knife. I like to use it because it can rock. Yeah. We'll also use a small paring knife. The radish, cut the ends just like so. Okay. And then we go right through the wedger. You basically just stick it right down in there. Mm -hmm. And when you push it through, creates a wedge, just like that. Makes sense now seeing it. While you're doing that, I'm gonna show you the avocado process here. This is actually a really cool little tool. Cuts oh. the avocado for you, pops it out, whoa! And then wedges, Lovely. boom. Mm. I really do enjoy making a poke because how pretty you can make them. Carrots, Okay. you actually spiralize these pretty well. It took a minute. Start peeling these. Okay. I'm gonna start working on our mango. Cut the bottoms off like you did before. The pit actually fits right, right through in there. this. You were so I close was at one close. point. So there goes the pit. Cut it into pieces like this. And then we're just going to oh, rock it so that it's it like that. Through. Poke, obviously a traditional dish. Mixing the flavors of savoriness, a little bit of acidity with that marinade. Oh yeah. And some saltiness with the sweetness of mango. Hitting all your taste buds. Spiralizer, you are right on. The more you press it in, Okay. The more it'll give you those spirals. While you're doing that, I'm gonna show you these cucumbers. Some of the knife safety that I was kind of worried about when you were doing the radishes. <laughs> this knife is meant to rock. Get your fingers placed behind, and then you lean your knuckles in. Mm -hmm. With a rock, you're just going to cut through okay. so that it's nowhere near your fingers. Show me what you got. Here you go, rocking motion, just like that. Lovely. Everything is nice and sliced and ready to go. We got our seaweed here, edamame, we're gonna make this sauce quick. Mayonnaise in a bowl, sriracha, a little bit of lime zest, and a little bit of lime juice. This is gonna give us that nice, zesty, spicy little twist to it, and it's gonna mm -hmm. add fat. It's delicious. A little heat at the very end, but it's gonna make all of this kind of come to life, you know what I mean? It's nice, yeah. Are you ready for the final steps? Yes. We need the tuna. Beautiful. We'll go get that out of the fridge. Yes. Ah. Nice and raw in the very middle there. Beautiful. And we're just gonna do slices like this. Okay. Let's start the plating process. So what I need you to do is put like two more of those down so we have a nice little layer on the bottom. Mm -hmm. You just wanna make a okay. perfect little low dome in there. Perfect. Yes. What a great little protege. What, what do you do for a living right now? Uh, I'm a student and I'm a receptionist as well. Wow, maybe get you in the kitchen. And now it's about kind of the artistry of this whole situation. Put the mango in here like this. Put some cucumbers in like the next section here. And then I'll just keep following you with other stuff. We'll get some of this ahi tuna in here. You wanna to touch this fish one more time or no? I'm okay. <laughs> Pretty. Wow. So, sauce, go right over the meat a little mm -hmm. bit. Very nice. Garnish. Little light sprinkle right over the center there. Good job. Look at that. Well done, Sierra. Thanks. <laughs> Grab your weapon. <laughs> So when I've I eat never a, had tuna like this before. You can either just go right for the meat. Okay. Or you can get a couple little flavors on it, which is why okay. there's all these things happening. Yeah. So I'm gonna just grab the meat here. Okay. Rice, some avocado. And, and tuna. I lost my rice. There you go. 
Mm. <laughs> Man, it's zesty. That sauce really adds. I'm trying to get used to eating more fish, so I hey, like this dish. This it's just new to my. This is a great taste starter. Buds. A great starter kit to eating more fish because it's yeah. pretty friendly and there's a lot of other things going on with it. Yeah. I appreciate you working with me. Thanks. We made it to the end. You did. Thanks, Sierra. High five. Hell yeah. Well, guys, that's our show. If Sierra can do it, you can do it. And as always, keep cooking, you hot messes.